In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add all the Excel files from one folder to your master sheet. So this happens when particularly you have different branches of your organization working on the same type of file, or you have different sales associates, different working on a different file or a similar file. And you'd like at the end of the week, you'd like to combine them all to one, one, uh, one file. And this will save you having to go through and uh, copy and paste. It will do it automatically. So I'm in my uh, developer, and I'm going to go to macros and I'm going to, um, I should pre, I, I have right now for demonstration purposes, I have, uh, two files of the same format. I've just changed the numbers, um, to two, uh, uh, start for the second one and three for the third one. And so this, is, this one starts with one. So now you'll be able to see that I'm adding two files of the exact same format. So what I'm going is I'm in my developer tab, I'm going to macros and I'm going to add to master and then I'm going to run it. And it, and when it's done, then you can see that we have all the two files and all the three files all added to your, to your folder automatically. And so now let me show you the code. So, so this is my file folder and you can see that I have my master in here and also in the same file folder I have the two data files that I'd like to add. So now we'll go on and look at the code. So this is my code. I've de I have defined a few things. Path is a string. File name is a string other workbook as a workbook, this workbook as a workbook, last row, end row, and end row for this sheet is sheets row count and up plus one. So this work, this WB equals this workbook. File name is, um, so the path is where this workbook is, is saved. It's going to look only in the folder where this workbook is saved. And then what it's doing is it's going file name is the directory of this of this uh, folder, anything that ends with XLS, what it's going to do is going to open those. So I have uh, application screen updating false, application uh, display alerts false, so that you don't get a warning sign for large amounts of uh, data in your uh, clipboard. And so I say if the file name, if file name, this workbook name, then does not equal this workbook name, set other workbook equals workbooks open path and file name. And with the other workbook, the last row is this cells count, row count to end up row. And then we're going to define the number of rows. Because we're not taking the heading row, what we're doing is we're taking the last row and we're minusing one. And that's the number of rows we're trying to copy. And so the other workbook sheets one range C2. So that's um, the second row, first column. And then we're going to the last row 10 copy. And this book works, this workbook sheets, sheet one activate and end row equals sheets, sheet cells, row count. We're trying to find the end row in this, uh, in the, in this, in this file. And then in this workbook, we're going to, uh, go to the end row and what we're doing is we're going uh, end row plus counts. We're trying to add it to the end of the end row here and then we're pasting special. Um, we're, we're closing the other workbook and then we're looping through and we're going and getting the next, uh, the next file in the file folder. At the end we're going to set this workbook equals nothing, other workbook equals nothing, Application display alerts equals true. And then, then you're going to send the message, uh, the message box all have been copied. They're all copied. I will, of course, include this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.